So this is Donald Trump. Donald Trump about to go stupid on everybody. You know what I'm saying? He is not playing. He's about to walk out. Everybody walking out. Let's see if we can speed it up. There we go. So. President Donald Trump, he going dumb, right? He is not playing. He's telling y'all how he feel right now. He not holding nothing back, nothing at all. And he got his all his representatives, his sons, and everything. I don't know what's going to happen in this trial. I'm just reporting the news. The publicity to run for governor, and then she failed running for governor. She had, no, she had practically nothing in terms of vote. But she went after Trump because she was running for governor. That's the only reason. But she got the judge to value Mar-a-Lago for eighteen million dollars. When the lowest house in the probably worth fifty million dollars. And this is the biggest, the best anywhere in the country. There's nothing like it. So they put it down at eighteen million. And they said, I, I overvalued it because we had it valued at a much lower number than it's worth. And by the way, his lawyer looks like his wife, Ivanka. <laughs> are valued much less than my actual value, which nobody even knows. Ivanka, whatever I mean. The financial I documents that I gave to the bank are much less than my actual back there. net worth. So therefore, I gave them to the bank. It can't be a fraud because I gave them lower numbers. I'm probably one of the only people ever to seek a loan. I didn't even need the loan because you see the kind of cash I have. I didn't even need loans. Maybe you don't do a deal or two. But we have a lot of cash, a lot of everything. You know, a lot of people are very surprised at how successful this is. You saw it today with the kind of cash I have and the kind of success we've had. But I'm a private company. I was never going to reveal this kind of stuff, but now it comes out. It comes out because a corrupt attorney general sued me for fraud. And then they found out they had no case. And they have no case. If you read the New York Blood Journal, they basically say they have no case against Trump. But I'm here, stuck here, and I can't come back. I'd rather be right now in Iowa. I'd rather be in New Hampshire or South Carolina or Ohio or a lot of other places, but I'm stuck here. Because I have a corrupt attorney general that communicates with the DA. So y'all know he, they put a gag order on him too. So all this stuff he's saying, he got a gag order on him. Hello, Jay. Washington, you keep me nice and busy. Because I'm leading Biden in the polls by a lot. By a lot. That's all this is. This is election interference. They made up a fake case. They're fraudulent people. And the judge already knows what he's going to do. He's a Democrat judge. In all fairness to him, he has no choice. He has no choice. He's run by the Democrats. I know this city better than anybody knows this city. There's nobody knows it like I do. He's a Democrat judge out of the clubhouses. He's controlled, and it's a shame. What's going on here is a shame. Our whole system is corrupt. This is corrupt. Atlanta is corrupt. And what's coming out of D.C. is corrupt. But this is a good one because this one is interesting. This one is very interesting. 
Why it did? Because I want to point it out to the press how corrupt it is, because nobody else seems to be able to do it. Mr. New York Lord Journal, New York Lord Journal said they did a very good job. And others have done a good job. They say there's no case here, but we have a corrupt attorney general that tried to make a case. Thank you very much. Please are here. After he was stupid on in answer, no questions.